This is the People's Radio News for the week ending the 11th of September, 2951. Our top story this week, the second major defeat of terrorist group Zena Threat in nearby Stanton. Civilian Defense Force pilots engaged Zena Threat's capital ships and support for well over a week effectively driving Zena Threat back to their pyro system home of Rune Station. The last of Zena Threat's forces withdrew leaving only clouds of wreckage. In the vicinity of Microtech's L1.5 fireworks partying and celebrations ensued at UEE Imperial Naval Station Jericho. And all across Stanton Comrades broadcast the following message from Special Agent Rowena Dooley, the advocacy's head of civilian defense forces. Attention residents of the Stanton system. This is Special Agent in Charge Dooley of the Advocacy. I'm happy to report that our latest intel indicates that the last members of the outlaw pack known as Xeno Threat have withdrawn to the pyro system. We are officially disbanding the civilian defense force, but want to thank them for their tireless efforts to keep this system safe. Thank you. In other news from Stanton Racers continued preparations for the 2952 edition of the Damer Rally with a test race on Damer last Saturday. This test run was treacherous and claimed the lives of several racers. The filthiest race in the verse gets underway the 15th of January. TPR will have complete coverage with a focus on teams from Leslie. And while we're on the subject of Leslie, long rumored renovations have been confirmed by the People's Alliance. Work on the improvements is set to get underway on Anthony Tanaka Day, the 9th of December. I'm Jen Greenfield. From all of us here at the People's Radio, take care and fly safe in the week ahead.